Okay. A one. Week sixteen? Yep. Rain. Of course that's what happens, because it was gonna be a roofing day. Of course the roofing material hasn't arrived and I haven't heard any calls yet, so I get like I said, I have zero confidence in that. But that's okay. Because there's a lot of good things. Look all the mud there. All the mud there. Look up here though, you can see the drip edge doing its part, keeping that done dry. And uh, then, I don't know if you can see, that's wet out there, but that's dry there. And this is what a dry floor looks like in the rain. That's just dark back there, not wet. Walk back there to be absolutely certain. Yep, dry. Dry floor, dry floor, dry all the way around. Pretty thrilled about that. That'll start the week off okay, even if it is raining. Okay, so, buddy outside. It's okay, because we got to dig some septic stuff back this way, uh, the end of the week and got to put some electric conduit in for the electricity so I believe this morning I went ahead and did uh, laundry got that done laundry fairies didn't show up much like the roofing fairies never did um, so I'm going to oh boy although apparently someone pointed out I do have a uh, get the boom unstuck fairy but thank god that fairy's around um, anyway uh, then I think I'm going to ride into town and pick up the electric wire for uh, the uh, service to the house and to the shop. I need to pick that stuff up. Uh, and uh, then we'll see what we do from there. Okay, there we go. Dry floors. Okay, day two, Tuesday. Uh, I think we're like week 16. Uh, four months. Wow. Um, okay, so... Um, Today, the uh, roofing should arrive. Believe it when I see it. Um, it should be here. Um, Lowe's is also going to deliver uh, a load of uh, vinyl siding and a few other odds and ends um, because the boom goes back next week. Uh, and before it goes back, I, I would want to. Uh, this is one of the gable ends, the east side. I want to get the vinyl siding on it because there's no sense trying to be up there on a ladder. So I'm going to get the two ends done if I can. Um, so this morning, what we're going to do is I've got uh, chimney pieces out. I've got the ladder up. And what I need to do is do some designing uh, to get the chimney support uh, up there. I still want it to go through the peak of the roof. Um, that way we can... Cut the hole, cut the hole in the roof you just put on, Ugh. and then um, get that all designed. Uh, that way it should be done. And then if I can get that designed and, and built on the, at least on the inside, uh, then uh, the only thing left would be to cut a hole on the outside and put the flashing up, then we'll be okay. Before, uh, if I do that this morning, then uh, I can uh, be ready this afternoon for vinyl siding and that stuff, and then I can tackle the soffits, figure that out. Anyway, here we go. Okay, end of day two. Um, let's see, all the deliveries got here. The roofing, the roofing arrived. We'll make sure it's all there. Looks like it's all there. So it looks like I have more than I need, which is okay. I don't care if I have to roof the doghouse. Anyway, uh, roofing's here. Uh, the windows arrived. The windows for the gable in, so I could uh, um, get them uh, covered in vinyl before the uh, boom goes back and the um, uh, Lowe's delivery with the vinyl. Speaking of vinyl, soffits, put those in. Let's see, I put this one in all the way down. Uh, looks like one of those uh, came unsnapped. Uh, how do I do this right there? Go to down and get them yet before I go down. And then I'm halfway down on this side, but it's time to quit. Uh, I also uh, got the layout inside done for the um, chimney, uh, and before I cut a hole in the roof, it dawned on me that I need a better flashing 
for the chimney. So I had a call and talked to them. Maybe I'll go by the uh, one of the metal companies out here and uh, take a look because it's all corrugated. So you know maybe they have something. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for day two. Tomorrow's roofing. Um, Tommy, my squirrel, my squirrel, the squirrel. Tommy the squirrel is coming back over tomorrow and uh, we're gonna roof the front. It's a lot easier to handle those panels with two people. And plus keeping things uh, online so they're nice and straight, but uh, he'll be back over here tomorrow and we'll finish the uh, roof. Uh, um, yeah, okay. Okay, end of day three, uh, Wednesday. I don't know where the week has gone already. So uh, roofing day, we got all the roofing material in yesterday, but uh, we only got about halfway done today. Uh, the guy that was helping me got a little sick, so uh, we got a half day's work. We got one more row and then a half row that goes at the top, so we'll be finished there. So the rest of the afternoon I concentrated on this side of the house. Let's bounce and bounce and bounce and walk over here. So we finished the uh, soffits, all the vinyl up in there and then started laying the uh, vinyl across here so that's uh, how far we got have to stop there we got to get the windows put in and sealed in before we can go any farther with that uh, we'll get this side done uh, because we've still got this for one more week so we'll get the high spots that means this wall and the wall on the other side and then we'll uh, quit from there the next question that I'm gonna have to figure out is uh, well hold on a second let me show you the back first okay so here in the back um, the deck goes out eight feet so basically it sits underneath um, um, where the way out here where the tails of the rafters are not this this is just bracing but right here where the tails of the rafters are so the 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 deck lines up with that so go out eight eight go out eight feet all of this under here I want to cover in um, like rough sawn uh, plywood so it's got a wood look to it and then it'll go all the way out to the edge of this and then I'll block something under there because I'm thinking I want to keep seeing this I, I want to see um, those tails but maybe I don't so that's the question um, back here it's kind of easier because it's one long part. So hold on a second. Okay, here in the front of the house, it's a little different. So this will all be porch. Again, it'll go all the way out to here. So the, the deck goes out even with this, where it goes out there. So all this will be covered in uh, rough sawn whatever. But if I do the rough sawn plywood all the way out past here, then I'll have to plywood all the way down because then it goes all the way down where it catches the soffit down there. And goes up with the vinyl or I could put vinyl all along here but I you know the vinyl is okay I just don't want to see so much of it I want it to be more wood um, I mean this is not a house in the middle of the city so anyway got to think through that and see what we're gonna do um, yeah but that's it for today okay day five it's Friday um, didn't have a video yesterday so so busy uh didn't even uh do a wrap up of what was going on so uh because uh, it was a late night but got a lot of progress done got uh got one thing checked off that i've been talking about for a long time move this way yes that my friends that is a roof Tommy the squirrel. <laughs> Tommy the squirrel. <laughs> That's the last screw. Boom. The roof is done. Um, I'm going to say it's done. There's uh, like a couple of small things that need to be done um, that I just can't do right now. <clears throat> Let's see. Way. How do I point? Way up here in the corner, um, the ridge cap comes out, and I need the sun to heat that up nicely so it uh, 
uh, it's pliable so I can uh, uh, cut it and fold it so the trim is done and then that's the that's the chimney uh, well it's the chimney flashing um, I don't have the storm collar they didn't ship me the storm collar so they're gonna they're shipping that to me now uh, so right now it's just got a trash bag covering up in case it rains because there's a hole in the roof um, nothing like cutting a hole in the roof uh, after you put a roof on but that uh, that is it the siding or the um, the panels and everything are all down uh, I got some video of that uh, I'll show you a little bit there and uh, the final screw that went in uh, and um, yeah so that's good so yeah the, the trim that trim piece right there there's one on the other side over there too I'll have to do um, and uh, yeah so today is uh, all about this thing and using it as much as I can so it goes back Wednesday of next week so I've only got it for a short period of time now um, and these walls are tall so the more I can get it done uh, the less ladder I'll have to do so the goal would be between now and next week to get the siding on this wall and the other gable wall on the other side uh, you can see I already started siding here got up to where the window is today I need to um, or this morning I need to install those two windows uh, and then continue the flashing all the uh, soffit is on the, there uh, soffit amazing I can point that way uh, so that's all done so that's where we're going um, and then uh, that's it so windows and uh, siding and soffit hey window siding and soffit is that what we're doing that's what we're doing okay here we go okay day six Saturday morning so uh, got a little bit uh, got a lot to do today um, this wall this wall the west wall one we were working on yesterday getting all the vinyl on we're gonna work on that see if we can't finish that that'd be the goal finish that uh, get all the vinyl all the way up on the side and get that other soffit done um, and uh, then we'll do that so we'll see because you know now I'm off the ground so we'll uh, uh, still got the, the boom but we'll uh, see how much work it takes to go back and forth we'll see the other things happening is uh, a neighbor and I uh, both have some excavation work that needs to be done so uh, like you do out here you know we went in uh, and split the cost between the excavator and uh, uh, a guy to operate it. Uh, so he's got him in the morning. He's going to go over and dig some uh, trenches for him. And then uh, he's going to come over here uh, whenever he finishes there and do mine. I have three trenches to do. I have a trench from the electric, two electric and one uh, sewer. So the uh, electric to the house and the electric to where the shop is going to be and then the uh, trench out to uh, for the septic uh, and uh, um, I'll flip it around and kind of show you where that is uh, at least the plan and then we'll we'll you can look at it when it's done hopefully it'll all be done this afternoon so here we go okay so the electric um, there's the uh, meter I need the electric run this way which will be towards the house and I come over to the corner of the house right there and then I'm also going to have a uh, line run that way um, which will be the uh, where the shop is and then the sewers out back so we'll see all the material wire conduit and everything else sitting right there so when he gets here we'll do that till then it's vinyl siding time okay end of day six Friday it's like 6 30 it's been a long day but this side is done gables all the siding is done I'm gonna go through and uh, double check all the seams and stuff Monday ridge caps done soffits done done a few other things happen today and uh, let me go over and show you this okay ditch this one is for the septic and that's a whole different video that we need to explain what's going on there so it goes around the corner and the goes back there so we'll talk about that one uh, when we get ready to do the septic power to the house that's the line that runs right there up to 
the meter. And it'll go in the house right here on the side. This is next week's project.